English 111, Reading 1, Chapter 1, The Sociology of Food, Text 4, The History of the Restaurant. The History of the Restaurant. According to the dictionary, a restaurant is an eating place. Therefore, according to this definition, the restaurant is as old as civilization. For example, there is evidence of eating places in ancient Roman ruins. Most ancient eating places were taverns. Taverns served simple meals and drinks to travelers. By the middle of the 17th century, a new kind of eating place appeared in many parts of Europe. These were cafes. At first they served only coffee. Later they served food. Cafes became popular meeting places for writers and their friends. The restaurant appeared at the end of the 18th century in Paris. It was very different from the tavern or the cafe. It gave customers a choice. Restaurants had menus. For the first time, customers decided what to eat, when to eat, and how much to eat. Also, for the first time, customers knew how much the food cost before they ate it. The menu at a typical Parisian restaurant in the 18th century might have 12 different kinds of soups, 65 meat dishes, and 50 desserts. Before the restaurant was born, there were different kinds of cooks in France. For example, there were roasters, bakers, and dessert makers. A roaster could not bake anything, and a baker could not make dessert. This was the law. Also at this time, the word restaurant had a special meaning. It was a French word for a kind of soup. The soup was restorative. This means it made people feel better when they were tired or sick. Eating places serve the restorative soup to customers. In 1765, a man named Bullinger owned one of these soup shops. One day he broke the law. He cooked some meat and put a sauce on it. This made the sauce makers angry. They went to court. Bulliger won and the modern restaurant was born. By 1786, a restaurant was a place to cook and serve all types of food and drinks. Soups, meats, salads, desserts, and wines. An important time for the restaurant was the French Revolution around 1792. Before the revolution, many rich people had chefs in their homes. The French Revolution ended the monarchy and the aristocracy. After the revolution, many chefs did not have jobs, so they started restaurants. As a result, restaurants became an important kind of business in France. Now eating well was for everyone, not just for rich people. By the 19th century, there were many restaurants in Paris and in many big cities around the world. Restaurants became more than just places to eat. They became places to meet people and to try new things. Today, the word restaurant can mean many things, a dinner, a cafeteria, or a place to eat fast food. There are even restaurants that show movies, restaurants where people eat in the dark, and underwater restaurants. Who knows what will happen in the restaurant world of the future? End of text four.